Hey, what's up? Right. Hey, I'm constantly today, guys. Um, today's uh digital Thursdays and um, I'm going to be trying to knock out some concepts right now this is for this is a character that's going to show up um, in Brothers Bond and I'm making it up well he's already been created and already written and everything but um, I'm just polishing his design <laughs> and um, I'll try to clean them up, you know, within this this time period that we have here. So um, let me know if you guys can hear me. Can can you can you guys hear me? 
just give me a shout and say yes or something like that. Let me know if you can hear me. Because I was, I was having speaker problems earlier. So, um, we're going to start, and so, uh, ask questions as I go, um, if you guys want to know anything, um, I'll try to give away as much as I can without giving away too much of the character. Um, For if you guys ask me, uh, uh, will you finish this? Um, hopefully, because it, it's pretty simple. So right now, I'm just trying to get the breakdowns uh, for his pose. Um, so he's actually uh, he's a demon, and he carries his, his uh, Siamese twin br brother on his back. So, um, yeah, he's a pretty bizarre looking demon in this series. I'm going to try to finish it tonight. There's no guarantees. Um, I know I will because I'm, I'm only screaming for about an hour and a half. So um, this honestly, this will this will probably take uh, about three to four hours to finish. But I'm going to try to speed it up um, so, so I can have. So what I what I'll try to do is I'll probably just I will I'll skip the tight pencil phase and I'll just go straight into the. Um, the inks and I'll just knock it out like that. That way we'll see if we can speed it up. Do I use reference? No. This is all straight from my head. Just make it up as I go. Um, no reference at all. Um, this is, yeah, this is just me having fun making it up as I go. So right now I'm throwing strokes. This is just to get a, an idea of um, overall, you know, space spacing, um, the way how his body would sit on his legs, that type of stuff. Um, this is his head. It's going to be here. His eyes will be here. His mouth. Um, um, I'm thinking something back here, which I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I, I'll make it up as I go. Um, those legs will be somewhere around here. His foot, knee. He's kind of sitting, kind of, you know, with the legs crossed over, kind of Indian style, I guess that's what they call it. Um, so the concept behind this guy is that his brother. Um, they're demons and they're stuck together. So when they fight, they actually flip, flip around. So one guy rises back. Um, when this guy's fighting, this guy's on his back, and then they'll flip around, and this guy will fight, and this guy will be on his back. So that's the concept. Behind the idea behind it. I won't give away his name. I won't give away much more about it. Um, you guys will just have to wait and see him in the series. Um, and he's going to be pretty, pretty crazy. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff uh, that's going to happen with him. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's a great show. I'm not showing it off. This is just 
This is uh, pure energy, pure love, pure energy. Um, yeah, just having fun with this one here. So, okay, so if you can see what I did was uh, when I first started, before I started, I this is, a, well, I actually did this on paper and um, I scanned I scanned in the paper and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to finish it on the computer. So I'm doing the roughs right now on the computer. Um, and I'm going to have him sitting on a log. So he, this will be like a log type of thing. Um, you know, probably, I probably have like a snake coming out here or something. And, or maybe something at the top right here. And, you know, just more critters kind of growing around and maybe some grass growing here and some bushes. Because this entire thing takes, the entire story takes, well, not entire story, I would say that 70% of the story takes place in a, in a forest. So, um, so yeah, so there's a lot of forest elements in here. Okay, so I'm just going to lower the opacity on this. Uh, and then I'm just going to start attacking um, with ink. So I'm just looking for the correct width. I always start off with the heads with the faces. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, oh, dude, I appreciate it. So uh, you rock the, the Brothers Bond uh, black tea all the time. I appreciate it. There's going to be more coming out. I'm actually going to launch the store um, when I launch, when I relaunch the series. Uh, and that's not going to happen until I think it's the end of next month. So, um, so once that happens, I'll launch everything together, the store and everything, and, uh, and you guys should, should be able to go on there and and uh, and purchase um, a lot more stuff that's coming out. So, um, I hope you guys like it. You just have to just have to wait and see what comes out but the store is just one element there's a lot more coming out there's other stuff that's coming out i can't talk about it um but it's it is associated with brothers bond and uh you, you guys will see i'm just having fun right now and you'll just have to see so right now i'm gonna just jump right into the inks I kind of like this, this nose. That nose looks pretty cool like that. So I'm just going to make it up as I go. So ask away, and if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and ask away. Will there be a sleeve sleeve hoodie? <laughs> no, 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 there won't be any sleeve hoodies. <laughs> that would be cool, though. I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, don't test me, because I just might, you know, I'm pretty crazy. See, I have a shirt on. I have Bruce Lee on today, so, so I'm doing some kung fu on the computer. So I'm keeping him pretty simple. I do everything on layers. I'll do the like, I'll do the face, drag and drop. Will not drag it down, just drop it. Um, this one.
Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, he's uh, he's not cute. Put it that way. I'm not making him cute. Um, I'm doing that on purpose because I want him to have like a kind of a ugly look to him. Um, so I'm not gonna make him cute. Give him a neck, maybe. Thinking. So just to give you guys a little insight, I'll show you I'll show you the level of what this thing would look like when I'm done. Because right now it looks pretty simple. Um, I'll, I'll give you a sample of what it's what it's gonna look like in a minute. Hold on one second. So I'll, I'm only showing this because you guys because of uh, um, actually showed he's a, this is a character that's gonna show up. Well, he already showed and showed up, but um, but I redesigned him. He has he has two design. He has an early design and a, and a later design. I'm gonna show you guys the later design right now. So we'll see what it's gonna look like at the very very end. So it'll look something like this when I'm done. Am I gonna do other brothers bond? Other it is stories that ties on brother bonds because that would be sick. Actually, um, well, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll work it out. But there 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 there's already plans for um, um, uh, season two. Um, it's already being written out and everything. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. Uh, right now, I just I really just want to stick around just the main characters um, and just keep playing with that. Uh, keep building, you know, the the the, the storyline behind them. Um, you know, I, I really want the audience to to fall in love with the character the characters itself. So I I I, I feel I don't know. Well, we'll I'll think about it because I'm still I'll talk some stuff over with a couple of the guys and we'll see where to go and we'll make a decision later but yeah this is pretty much where things are it's going to end up when i'm done so just to give you guys some insights bam it goes away all right so let's see how hard is it to meet deadlines in a month um it is not hard at all i i, I never miss my deadlines um Oh wow! Hi, uh, Shiro Beer, <laughs> Shiro Beer San. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, um, it's not hard for me to 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 to, um, to miss or to meet my deadlines because I I just I don't like to miss deadlines. Um, when I'm working on something, I just I'm, I I I will do what I what needs to happen to to get it done. So to me, deadlines is not an issue at all uh, here we go. yes you will see me at tokyo comic-con i will be there uh is it a contour laundry yes I'm, i am doing the contours i'm well it's a, com, com, a combination of contours and yeah i get yeah, okay yeah it's mostly the contour the contour lines i'm doing um there's no, um, I, I will get into the layers and I'll do the flats and then the, the shadows and, and knock out the colors and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just trying to knock out just the, just the basic look of the overall character, what he's going to do. Um, and that's it. 
So he's pretty much disfigured. Both him and his brother, they're both uh, disfigured. If you guys are not familiar with Clip Studio, this is I'm using Clip Studio Pro right now. Um, Clip Studio is a seriously amazing pro program where you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and right now, I'm just trying to knock out this character. Favorite DC character to draw, also favorite character, Marvel character. Um, my favorite DC is Batman, of course. I love bats. Um, my favorite Marvel character, I I like um, grungy type type characters. So I probably have to say Wolverine. Um, I yeah, Wolverine. I like drawing him a lot. Magneto, I like Magneto too. But I also like um, um, pretty much pretty much any any, any grungy character. But on on DC side, I love drawing the Joker. Joke Joker is pretty serious. I like drawing that guy. Was a boo boo. I'll redo that. Ah, that's why. Okay. All right. This is pretty close. Just to give you guys a quick sample of what it's going to look like. Um, uh, I'll probably flat, I'll, well, I will. I'll flat this like this. And then after that, I'll go in and do the, the rest of the shading and stuff like that. But that's it. I'll show you guys the rest later. But I'm going to keep, keep going. I'm going to keep drawing. Thank you.
Let me see. Okay, here. What was it like working on Batman Beyond Hush? Um, working on Batman Beyond was, um, at first it was pretty, um, it was, it was a little bit tense at first. Um, I, I, well, I, when, and in the, in the beginning, the very, very early stages, I wasn't worried until I spoke to uh, a good friend of mine. His name is Joe Mott. He lives in uh, Miami. And I call him up. And after I had a, a talk with him, I became a little bit nervous, you know, because I was like, I was concerned that, you know, hey, I know I'm pretty much like a hardcore type of artist. I don't really draw the 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 the, the tune the cartoony stuff um and i and and i know that's that's the direction i had to go so um it was a little bit you know nerve-wracking for me a little bit but eventually i kind of figured out what to do um and i i kind of pride myself in being a, a, a an all-around artist that i draw uh, multiple characters in uh, different styles. Um, you know, I try not to stick with just one style because if you do, then you kind of corner yourself. You know, so I don't want to do that. Hey, okay, let me see, let me see. That's it. Marvel definitely Spidey Black, of course. Yeah, Killmonger, yeah, yeah, I like Killmonger. Captain America, Captain America's cool. I get a lot of Captain America requests. Um, Wolverine Storm, yeah. Taking on the Joker. Any of that? Oh, I would love to do that. Yeah, that would be amazing. Hey, Earth Dragon, <laughs> how you doing? Yes, uh, the cons have definitely slowed slow down for me. Uh, uh, Kuyamu. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, I'm having a, a slow, slow day today. Um, but yeah, um, I, I it's cons. I, I'm purposely slowing down on on con conventions till the end of this year. Um, and at the end of the year, I'm planning to do a series of conventions throughout Asia. So I'm going to be jumping around um, a lot. I'll be out there in that region probably, yeah, for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to be jumping around just doing some stuff. So, so look, look for me out there. One of those uh, shows in in, uh, in a couple of shows in Japan, and we'll see whatever else that's around. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Shiro. Thanks for coming. Yeah. You're welcome. Batman sketch came in. <laughs> cool your move. Okay, that's good. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, getting the oh yeah, yeah. So I cannot sell prints on online. It's just something I can't do. Um, that's if, if there if you find an artist out there doing it, hey, I'm, I have nothing else. I'm not going to say anything about it other than you know, to me, to me, to me, that's kind of crossing the line. Um, but for me personally, I would never like make like a Batman print and then put it and sell it online. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. That's just, to me. That's you know, copyright infringement. You know, you you, I, I, you you need you need to go out and get a, um, you know, get the rights to act, to actually do that type of stuff. And um, 
from what I understand, they only give out those rights to like major companies and stuff like that. So. Bat the Batman goodies. Um, you mean the sketch? So basically, uh, on Mondays, uh, thank you, thank thank you, why I appreciate it. Um, uh, on, on Mondays, I do I do when I when I do my live streams, I do a five minute quick sketch, and at the end of the month, I I give those away. I randomly give them away. I do a, a lottery, and I, I randomly just give it away to whoever wins. Um, and it could be whoever, and, and it's usually the the, the the pool of names that I pick from are the, are the people who sign up for my Patreon. So you sign up for my Patreon, your name goes in a in a pot, and then I pick out pick out the name, and you could be the lucky winner who can win the, that free sketch. I'm going to keep moving because I don't want to slow down. I don't want to slow down. So I'm just going to have the football. flavor to it, you All right. See you later, Shiro. I signed off. No, I won't give away the character's name, Doubler. Um, not yet. Um, you, you just have to go to the th watch the series to see his name. Um, I, I'm going to keep some some things secret. Um, I kind of gave away a little bit of what his what his abilities are, but I won't do anything beyond that. I, but I will say he is uh, like a demon demon class or demon type, and that's it. But there's going to be a lot more cool things that this, that's going to happen with him.
recommend any books for character design? Um, wow, it's been years since I've studied a book on character design. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I, I don't even design work to be a good designer. I don't think I don't think the the, the the mark of a good designer comes from studying books. I think it's it, I think it can help. Um, um, if you're if you're talking about like specific strategies on how to think or or how to um, how you, you, your approach to 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 how do I put this energy into this? It, it, there's a there's multiple different ways you can come at it, and, and I don't think you can get a hundred percent of it from a book. Um, I think a book can help you soak in some information, but you know most of it is going to come visually. So, for, for me, I would recommend if you're gonna if you want to practice or learn character design. Um, It's hard to it's hard to answer because I, I think I think okay this is what I think I think where it's going to come from is just you getting involved with a lot of cool projects uh, or not necessarily a project like watch a lot of good films study the the, the making of those films um, uh, look at other artists look at how they're they're doing things how they're designing stuff. Um, look at what's cool to you, and try to try to try to mimic that. Um, you know, just cut. You just have to saturate your your mind and your thinking in that environment. That's the best teacher you're gonna have, as far as being a concept artist, because I can teach you how to draw, but and I can push you in a direction as being a concept artist, but I can't. I don't think anyone can completely teach you how to be a concept artist. That's really up to that individual, because um, it's it's you're basically taking what's what you think is cool and you're putting it on paper. So how do you teach someone what's cool? You know, you can show them and give them directions and like, hey, you know, do this versus doing that. But it's it's kind of up to that that artist or that individual to 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 plant it in their head and stick it in their head and and come back to it without looking at any reference and without even having to you should be able to just pop it out you know oh this is cool give me you know you hear a story and there's some really cool ideas just popping in your head and now you're ready to put it on paper you can't really teach that that's something that you just have to it's, it comes from years of just nurturing and just soaking yourself up into in, in that environment uh, um you know, like, how do you, you know, if you look at the difference of the way how, you know, the Japanese artists versus the American artists think or the whole the way how they concept stuff, how, what do you think about how, how do they, you know, you look, you look at the characters, the difference in the characters, how do those guys, how does it, how, how do the Japanese artists come up with theirs versus the American artists? They're both two technically creative you know, individuals, but then if you give them a script, they're both going to come up with two different, two different looks, you know? So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's up to the individual. You can't really teach it. You just have to be a good artist. And the thing I recommend is try not to think or try not to be a, a, a one type of concept artist. Um, I recommend you should be able to like this stuff I'm doing right now. I'm doing it in like a tune style. I can do this in a painted style if I want. I can do this in more of an American comic book style. I can do this in you know in, in some some fancy fancy type of you know you know graphic design. To, I can do that because you know it just it's just a shift of your thinking, your approach to the piece, but you're you're still trying to hit that one target. You know, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's just something you can't really teach. 
um, but you have to soak it in. So the best thing I say is just research as many different artists as you can, the guys that you like, study them, follow them. Don't only for look at me. Look at other artists. There's other artists out there who's really good at this stuff. They know what they're doing. Um, I don't know if they're concepting live like I am, but I'm literally concepting this in front of you, all, all you guys, because I want you guys to see behind the scenes, you know, a lot of stuff I'm doing. So I'm giving this to you guys. Um, um, so go look at other artists, learn from them, see what they do. Go, when you go to the comic con conventions, buy all the books, all the all the 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 the, 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 the sketchbooks that you guys are, you guys are seeing, the really cool ones. You like this, you like it, you like great. Go buy them and then go home and just open them up and just soak it in. Study, 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 and try. This is. I would try to draw what I see. Open the book and try to draw that, that character. I would really like a character. Try to draw it. Go to another character. Try to draw that character. Go to another character. Try to draw that character. That's practicing. You're literally practicing right there. And then when you're done, after you've done that 50, 100, 300 times, you don't need to look at the book anymore. Now you're making your own books and you're putting it out there. So just that is time, repetition, you know, and just kind of stick to it. That's the best thing I can say about being like a, a concept artist. You can't really teach it. That, that's kind of why you'll find a lot of people, a lot of guys, they'll create a portfolio and they will try to get a job as a concept artist. And not everyone gets a job because there's a specific look and feel that someone's looking for or a specific art style. Or, or the, the people who are looking at can tell just from the, your fundamentals this guy has skills or this guy still, he still needs another 10 years of practicing before I can give him a job. You know, they are, they're out there, you know, so you have to, they, you, not everyone can concept. You, you can get someone who can paint, but he can't design. You can get someone who can build something in 3d in 3d, but they can't concept it. You know, it's so you, you, they're out there. You, so you can't really teach concepting. It's something you just have to soak it in from years and years of just, Hanging around cool guys, looking at, I don't mean like cool, like the Fonzie or something like that. I mean like cool, meaning like these guys are creative and they're more creative than you. And they're constantly putting stuff out. So you're, the energy they're putting out, you're going to naturally soak it up. And as you know, you're doing cool stuff. And, you know, it's just part of, part of the pack, just hanging out with the right people. So I think I talked a lot on that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to drawing. Should have been joined the whole time. But you got me into it. You sucked me. You sucked me into it. I really wanted to talk Wait for a minute. <laughs> uh, yes, get get sketchbooks. Get them. Get them. Get them as much as you can. Um, and don't just buy mine. I would love it if you could buy all my sketchbooks, but don't only buy my sketchbooks. There's other artists out there who are amazing. It's not about me earning a dollar. It's about you guys getting better at your craft and building that art world let's get to it you know get out there and go go soak it up i don't care i really don't care about your five dollars i don't need it so you know it's more about hanging out rubbing elbows with the right people you know um you know just kind of just being being in that art world you know I could do this all day. I would. I kind of wish I was doing this live in front of everyone instead of you know on this on on this stream. I wish we were all in the same room together. guy here is going to be cool. He's going to be one of the cool ones. I can't wait. Again, um, I see there's a couple of people that, that came on since I showed this. So I'm going to give you a quick insight to what this is going to look like. It's going to look something like that. Well, not something. It'll be pretty. It'll be on this level um, when I'm done. So this guy here, his name is Kano. He's in uh, the, the Brothers Bond series. Um, he's kind of like a trickster. Uh, 
Um, he's he, he pretends to be this demon. That's why he wears this mask. So he goes around pretending that like he's this demon, and he he tries to scare people and stuff like that. So, um, but this is him. This is Kano. There's more to the story. I don't want to give away much more because he is connected with the main character in the story. Um, they have a lot of history together. And I won't say any more beyond that. You just have to go see the series and see what it's about. But this is what it's going to look like. Yes, J. Scott Campbell does have a great sketchbook. I've seen it. Um, yeah, he does have a few. He does. Build a visual library in your head. That's that, that's true. That makes that makes Garrett, that makes uh, makes sense. How do you have to be to work um, for a company like Marvel and DC? Um, good. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it. Um, if you're a good artist, I don't make the, the, the decisions. The people who make the decisions are the editors. So you have to impress those guys. So if you're good, you show them the good work, you will get work. Um, because they're always looking for new artists, new new talent, you know, new ways of putting a spin on something. So show them your work. That's the best thing I can say. So his leg is going to be somewhere. So. I'm going to give him some hairs down here. He's kind of a, a weird looking guy. Give him a little. And that's his brother on his back. Just like yelling at everyone because he hates his life. I hate my life. I'm going to put something here. I don't know what yet, but I'll come to it later. I love this uh, this smooth tool. See how smooth this is? There's, a, there's like a little lag in this in the strokes. It's pretty cool because it's it smooths out the line. Look how smooth that line is. Pretty sick. All right, so. <clears throat> No, they 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 there are there are four limp there, four um, there are four limbs for each character. They're 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 connected by the head. That's where they're connected. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. There is a, a brother's theme that goes on with in Brothers Bond. I don't know if you if you, you can see it, but yep, they are brothers. They are brothers. Siamese twins. I'm just going to lay some colors down just so you guys can get a sense as I go. Hey, what's up, Chris? <laughs> what's up? So, Chris, um, mum's the word, <laughs> but this is this is one of them. You know what I mean. So this is coming. So basically, um, give you a sense of the whole thing. So he's he has um, he has his brother kind of sitting on his back up here. 
So um, we flip them upside down. It's going to be like that. And they're 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 connected by the heads. You guys will see the rest when it comes out. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep designing. Um, we'll just keep going. Oops. Foot tutorial, yeah, pretty much. Yes, you're right, it is Clip Studio. Thank you, thank you, Tour, thank you, thank you. What do you say? That face is okay to school on Monday. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's as well. I gotta go to school. Yep. That's how it is.
<laughs> charge double for head sketch. Oh, that's a good one. Oh man. Yeah. So um, you know, we keep getting uh, the same question, but yeah, this is Clip Studio Pro that I'm using. Um, oh, my bad. I, I see it. It was already answered. Okay. Did I scan? So yes, I did the pencils first, um, or I did the roughs in pencils, and then um, and then I went through and um, after I scanned it in, um, I after I scanned it in, I I, I did I continued the roughs in the computer. And now, I, I, what I was planning to do was going to do some pretty tight pencils, um, but for the sake of time, because you guys are, are all watching and you guys can't watch me for the next four hours, um, I'm speeding up. So I'm going straight from the roughs straight to the final inks. I saw someone said beast mode. Yeah, because I am in beast mode. Yes, the the it is. It seems precise. Um, there's a um, if you look over here to the right or to the left, where, where I'm hovering, it's where it says uh, stable stabilization. That option there gives you the, the, the option to smooth or to keep the, the pencil as close to your strokes. So if I push it all the way down, that means I'm taking away the smoothness. That means, um, oh, not up past me. Um, if I take it all the way down, that means, you know, I can get some pretty cool lines, okay? If I bring it all the way up to 100, you see how it slows down. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a slight drag behind it. Um, like my stroke is a lot faster than that, but the actual stroke that, show, that shows on the screen is a lot slower. So I keep it around, you know, kind of halfway, somewhere around there, where I can still get like a nice, um, it's a nice stroke, but it's fast enough where. It, it doesn't lag behind behind me. So yeah, so I'm trying to keep his arms like that. What I'm thinking, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to put some. I'm probably going to cover his arms with something. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll think about it before I go to uh, final final colors. Um, but yeah. This is him. Yes, you can cal calibrate it. Uh, 
um, you can um, you can adjust it to how you feel. Feel like. They, they use the same weapon. <laughs> I did that away. See that staff they have on the, on the side? One weapon. Two guys. One weapon. Pretty crazy. They share a weapon. When, when one is, is in use, the other one takes it. The other one, uh, he lets it go. And then when the other one's in use, they, when it flips over, ah, give it to me, brother. I got it. <laughs> Let me handle him. Ah! <laughs> I do voices for animation too. No, I don't. I'm just playing. But I would love to. I wouldn't mind doing some voice acting. That makes sense. I try to do some voice acting when I'm drawing every once in a while. Have you seen that video? <laughs> guys, <laughs> that video. <laughs> Yeah, I get you. <laughs> Two guys, one weapon. <laughs> the ultimate movie. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Work on it, work on it, baby. It's like um, whenever I used to, I watch some some. There, there's a couple people I watch online. Um, you know, especially on Twitch, I like I kind of watch uh, a couple of gamers. So I, while they're playing, I just have it in the background, and I'm, I'm here drawing away. You know, um, one thing that one of the things I do like to play in the background is um, movie scores. So when I'm playing those, it makes me feel like I'm watching a movie, or I get the same feeling that I get from watching a movie, but I'm in my creative world. Um, and to me, it makes it, it, it helps me generate better art. Because um, when I'm drawing, it, I, I just feel I feel more creative when there's like uh, you know a movie score or some something playing in the background. But there are times I get sick of it. And I don't, I don't want to hear the movie scores anymore. I just want to I'll put some reggae on or something and just kind of zone out. 
come out. Kind of doing some surgery here, trying to get the line art right. Okay. 
this is uh, this is very similar. There's somebody. Let me show you. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys um, some other. I'll try try to dig around for some other character character stuff that I've done in the past, so you guys can see um, the level that these things are going to turn out to. Um, Part of me that's telling me um, I need to beef up his design. So right now I have the base of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Okay, I got the base down. Okay, so the base is down. Trying to keep it kind of um, sort of tribal and rugged, almost like you know, this is, this is a makeshift design, like they kind of just hack and sliced and pieced a bunch of crap together. This should not look like they went to the local grocery store and just bought all this equipment, you know? It should definitely look like they put their heads together. <laughs> their heads together. Um, and designed this from scratch. Feeling like a round shape over here. I'm gonna eventually put something here. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna put something here. And it kind of sits at the, the top of this. I'll scribble something. I can add that later. I don't have to do it right now. It's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do a stick right now.
Is Chris still on? Chris, are you still on? Maybe that's some circle type, some pulley system. <laughs> eh, I'll think about that one. Stand up comedy where you draw. Yeah, that's funny. I, I like listening to that too. Um, yeah, stand up comedy is pretty cool. I used to listen to, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the talk show, the talk radio guy with the long hair. Everyone used to listen to him. Back in the day, he, wore, he wears the glasses. I can't think of his name. It's been years since I listened. Joe Rogan is another guy. I listen to him a lot, too. I listen to him. He's pretty cool. I just imagine that. An hour and a half ago this guy this this didn't exist. Now it's here. And it's about to be colored. Pretty crazy, huh? How um things can come into existence. Something's bugging me. Uh, I see where it is. Is this like this? 
I don't like you. These are not going to be the final colors, these are just uh, just flats for now. I will change the colors later. If you can only flat this fast in Photoshop, huh? It'd be amazing. Without using um, B pelt. Don't use B pelt. So these guys on this back. Literally joined from the head and their back. They're joined for life. Cannot be separated. So, um, later So, this is the rough, rough, rough version. Done. 
one, I'm going to actually put my gun. Maybe we'll have like a log or something here. So I'll paint something here. Just so rough right here, so this is just roughing it, roughing it out for now. Rough right here, something is going to come up here, so I'll put that in the background. Some missing line art. I need to squeeze in here. So this, I'm not really feeling those green, so I'll probably change it. I don't know yet. Maybe. Something in that spectrum. Unreal. Still want to play around it. We'll see. See what comes out of this. So maybe change that. I want to think about it. Now, this is an issue. See all this, these little spray uh, points in here? You have to go back and clean all this up. Because this is a big no no in coloring. This will give you a ton of issues later on if you do not fix it. Yeah. Oh, no. 
That was weird. Oh, I think I know what it is. I had a, I made a selection, and when I changed the colors, and the selection had a fuzzy edge on it. You definitely don't want that. Um, If you have, I, I went over this last week. If you have that fuzzy edge, it will jack you up in the future. So you do not want that when you're coloring. So make sure you guys, when you're coloring, you don't have a fuzzy edge. Make sure your magic wand is um, because if you don't, this see that? That's what happens. Horrible, horrible rookie mistake. But Clip Studio has a way of fixing it super fast. That's why I love this program. It's this, it's magic wand. To see this, uh, where is it? Anti-aliasing. Make sure that's off. That that was it. That's the issue. into this. I just want to keep going and going and going and going and going. Now I want to stop. I could do this for another week not stop. No sleep. quick demonstration on how I do shadows. I always use solid black because the main thing the reason why I'm using it, so I'll, I'll show you guys this before I, I go. So I'll try to keep it within like five minutes or so. Um, the main thing, the reason why I use solid black to to do this part to create the, sh the shadows is because um, I treat it as a global piece. I'm not concerned about just shading the eyes and the uh, you know, the arms or something like that. You treat it as a one giant piece, and then once you have it, then you can go through and cut it up and dissect it. 
that way it looks a little bit more natural um, if things kind of flow a little bit more so what I do is I just go ahead and I just make my selections like so I'll select this head, little headpiece here um, keep it on solid black I use my G pen as usual um, what, I, what I'll probably do is this for the sake of this tutorial just go ahead and change this color for now to something like this. That's fine. Change it I got for now. It doesn't matter. Because we're going to change it back later. Um, it's really solid. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have a selection. You're making a selection. That's it. So now I have that this line art right here. You don't want to um, mess with your line art, so go ahead and you know click click on the temp the, the, the template button. This just makes it like a like a draft. So it says draft layer. Okay, so now <laughs> I make my selection with this pen. Make sure I'm solid black. Go to my Shadows layer, I'm going to name it Shadows layer. Um, then go through and create my shadows. I see that. That's a bug in uh, Clip Studio. It's a memory thing. It's, that means it's somewhere, somehow, it's thinking, or the computer's thinking and slowing it down, so it's interfering with your strokes. Forgot to fill this little area in right here. I'll get it later. Don't worry. So, so all that matters right now is just to get some. And the cool thing about it, you can change it, you know, solid black. Later on, you can change it to different colors. It doesn't matter. Or you can do like an overlay. It's 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 mainly for a quick selection because now I can make a giant giant massive selection just on that piece if I wanted to or something. So, um, and then the same thing. I'll just quickly do a face. You can see, so, face. He's like this dark character. I try to keep him in the shadows a little bit.
and so I'll continue that pattern throughout the rest of um, the rest of the body. And what I'll typically do is create another layer, and I usually um, turn that layer into an overlay. Then I'll pick like a brighter color. It could be whatever, just whatever color it doesn't matter. I can go with blues or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, because from this point, I'm going to go in and. Try to do something like this. Under, so I just want to get a little accent going on. Not much. Something simple. And the reason why I do that is because at the very end, can change the color to whatever you want. Um, later on, I can push it you know, towards red, to, you know, purples or something, whatever. Um, and with this layer here, once once I have it, and I make a selection on the skin, I can go in. I like to keep everything on layers. I know some people like to just put everything all in one flat layer, one layer, but I keep everything on layers because it makes it easier to fix it later. Especially if you draw something and turn around and, you know, four days later you're like, oh, I don't like that one. I want to do it in a different direction or something. See, now. See how I added some flavor to his face just from that. Um, so um, we create it. Then I then you can literally go through and say um, you wanted to color the line the line too. You could change the colors. Um, that's if you want. You don't have to. But, That. So yeah, just kind of beef it up a little bit. It's a hard thing, but I I don't want to color the line. I actually want to keep it solid black. So I'm going to do that. Just keep it solid black. So yeah, this is how I do it. Really quick and. I'm going to get off the line right now. Um, and then you guys can see the rest of this later when I'm done with it. But. This character is going to be cool. I might call him, I might call him the switcher. Because he switches. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'll, I'll reveal his name later. I won't give you guys his name yet. Keep that one secret. All right. Let me see. Here we go. <laughs> I'll tell you all you this. I'll tell you all my secrets on Discord. It's no problem. I'll do that. No problem, Kiyamo. Yes, so um, let me see if I could find you guys some goodies. I want to show you guys some goodies. I might have it because I just switched the computer, so I don't know if I have it on this computer. Um, yeah, I don't think I have it on here. Yeah, I think I think I got rid of it. It's on a different computer. Anyway, um, so we'll just uh, we'll just cut cut it for now, and I'll just see you guys um, next week on Monday.
trying to see if I can find it real quick. See if I can sneak it in there. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, no, that's one. It's not it. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see. I might have this. Uh, here we go. Um, okay, yeah, I guess I can show this one to you guys. This one's pretty, it's pretty old. I did this one a, a couple years back, but it's done in the same process, and at least you can see the, the breakdowns of it real quick. This should take about a minute. All right, so this was something I did on years ago. Um, let me find the basics of this. Okay, so So this was the line art I had. That's where you did the flats. So I did the flats. That's where I put the, the highlight of the shadows in there. Now this is just the different layers that I put on just to beef it up. And from there, add more layers to it. all the different layers. Like, that's why I keep everything on layers because if you want to change something, like say you see this this reddish hue or this orangish hue, so say you don't like that orange, you can go through and push it in a different different direction. Yeah. You know? So these are all little tricks that um, you know like hey maybe I wanted it more green. Eh, whatever. <coughs> All little tricks that you can. And then I, this was another layer I added on, which was that was the painted. I did a painted version of him first. This was this was this was actually done on canvas um, with acrylics. So I did this one on canvas with acrylics, and I, and I needed to convert it to a, a tune. So I had to go back over it like this to convert it. So I did that. And then I had to beef it up. But this is not the final version. The, fi the final version is completely different. It's actually more, way, way better than this. Um, but at least you, you, you can see the process on uh, what I was thinking on uh, how I was going at this. I was trying to beef this up. But um, this was actually for a game I did for, for Sony PlayStation years ago. Um, I, was a, I was a concept artist for this game. But yeah, anyway, um, this should be it. So I'll see you guys next week. Um, and thanks for coming out. And don't forget to ask any, any questions later on. All right, see you guys.